They say that if you find yourself alone on the last train of the night in Toronto's subway, you might not be as alone as you think. For decades, passengers and workers alike have reported seeing shadowy figures that disappear as quickly as they appear, leaving behind an icy chill that lingers in the air. Is it just a trick of the mind, or is something far more sinister at play beneath the streets of Toronto? Toronto's subway system is one of the busiest in North America, transporting thousands of people daily beneath the city's bustling streets. But beneath the surface, this network of tunnels and stations holds more than just the rush of commuters. The subway has a history, one that stretches back to its construction in the 1950s, and with it, a collection of eerie tales that few know about. Tonight, we're not just talking about an urban legend, we're diving into the haunted past of Toronto's subway, a past that might make you think twice the next time you hear something strange while waiting for your train. Many of the ghost stories tied to Toronto's subway originate from the earliest days of its construction. One of the most famous tales involves Lower Bay Station, an abandoned platform that was once part of the city's transit network. Closed to the public in 1966, it's now used primarily for training and film shoots. However, those who have ventured into Lower Bay after hours have reported strange occurrences, disembodied footsteps, distant whispers, and the unnerving feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. In 2002, a maintenance worker named John was tasked with inspecting the tracks late one night near the station. As he walked along the dimly lit tunnel, he heard what sounded like a woman crying. The sound echoed off the walls, growing louder as he approached a darkened section of the tunnel. But when he shone his flashlight into the darkness, there was no one there. The crying abruptly stopped, leaving John alone in the oppressive silence. Shaken, he quickly finished his inspection and reported the incident to his supervisor, who dismissed it as just nerves. But John knew what he heard, and he wasn't the only one. Another well-known haunting is said to occur at the Queen Station, where several passengers have claimed to see a man in a dark suit standing at the edge of the platform, staring blankly into the tunnel. When approached, the man vanishes into thin air, leaving no trace behind. The sightings have become so frequent that some locals refer to him as the Phantom of Queen Station. Perhaps the most chilling account comes from 1995, when a subway operator reported a near collision with what appeared to be another train heading in the opposite direction on the same track near the St. Andrew station. The operator slammed on the brakes, but there was no crash, and when he radioed the control center, they confirmed that no other train was in the area. When the operator inspected the track, he found nothing but the cold, empty tunnel stretching out before him. To this day, no one can explain what he saw, but those who had heard the story believe it could be the ghostly remnants of a tragic accident that occurred during the subway's construction in the 1950s, when a tunnel collapse claimed the lives of several workers. These hauntings have had a profound impact on those who work in the subway system. Many employees refuse to be in the tunnels alone after dark, and some stations, like Lower Bay, are now off-limits to most workers at night. The stories have also seeped into local folklore, with Torontonians sharing them as cautionary tales for those who might find themselves in the subway late at night. The Toronto Transit Commission has taken some precautions, such as increasing security patrols and installing more surveillance cameras. Still, these measures have done little to quell the eerie experiences reported by those who frequent the subway. Toronto's subway system is more than just a means of transportation. It's a labyrinth of history where the past and present collide in unsettling ways. The stories of ghosts and unexplained phenomena serve as a reminder that the city's history is never indeed buried. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, the tales of haunted stations and phantom trains make one thing clear. The subway is a place where the lines between the living and the dead can blur, leaving us to wonder what else might be lurking just out of sight. Have you ever experienced something strange in a subway station or another public place? We'd love to hear your stories. Share your experiences in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more chilling tales of urban legends and haunted histories.
If you're intrigued by the mysteries of Toronto's subway, check out our other videos, where we explore the eerie and unexplained in cities around the world. The next time you step onto a subway platform, remember, you might not be as alone as you think.